Hello, welcome back everybody, PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So a while back I made a video about how oil and gas exploration was about to start at some point offshore of Somalia. Well, here we are two years later where I get to say it actually has now officially started, as opposed to just it's happening soon, eventually. The first stage of the process was begun a few months back in November of 2023. That first process, of course, being seismic sounding, seismic testing, where special ocean going vessels owe equipment as they go along that emits seismic pulses, and specialized hydrophones and microphones listen for the reflection of those sounds, from which the industry can then determine the varying types of densities, including obviously sudden decreases in rock layer density, which would indicate that the rock layer is porous and something is trapped there. Now there is absolutely likely to be some amounts of oil and or gas offshore of Somalia, although given at least the topographic setup of the country and the region in general, much more of the oil and gas is likely to be onshore as opposed to offshore, as if you take a look at a topographic map of the Horn of Africa region and of Somalia in particular, you see that Somalia in general is a low-lying gradual slope setup going towards the ocean, which is one of the two types of setups where you will usually encounter hydrocarbons, similar to what you see in the shallow seafloor offshore of the southern portions of Brazil, where quite a lot of petroleum has been found. Although in Somalia's case, like I said, most of that setup is actually onshore, as once you go offshore of Somalia, if you look at a bathymetric map, aka basically a topographic map of the seafloor, for a large part of it, it kind of just drops off precipitously down to that, you know, standard three mile depth. Although like off the coast of Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire, where oil and gas have been found, there are, there are various portions along the coast of Somalia where the seafloor remains shallow and sloping out for several dozen or a few more kilometers than that before hitting that abrupt drop. And there are also a few select areas where there are protrusions of sorts where it does not drop as quickly. So that might raise the obvious question of, well, why wouldn't they go for oil and gas exploration onshore of Somalia then? And that would be because when the companies initially bought these offshore blocks, that is what they bought. They bought offshore blocks, and offshore blocks were, for one, the only thing being offered, and the only thing they were willing to be interested in at the time, because they bought a lot of these back in the later 2010s, during which, at that time, remember, much of Somalia was still in the condition that you probably imagine Somalia as that Somalia became rather infamous for over the last 30 or 40 years. So no one back at that time was interested in working onshore of Somalia because of obvious safety reasons. However, that hopefully will immediately change because the situation onshore of Somalia in Somalia itself has rapidly stabilized ever since the new iteration of the Somali security forces launched their initial operation to reclaim much of the country from al-Shabaab and other militant groups in the spring of last year, and it turned out way more successful than anyone was expecting, and the amount of unsecured area, the amount of land territory within Somalia that is or was under al-Shabaab or other terrorist groups' influence or control has collapsed over the past year of this operation by between 90 and 95 percent. So theoretically stuff onshore of Somalia could start happening now as well, but for the moment oil and gas exploration is being conducted offshore, of which the first phase is seismic testing, which will continue likely over the course of this year, and then next year and the year after the industry will drill test wells into potential prospects that they come across during the seismic testing, analyze everything, and if things are developed or operated under the rapid hyperspeed scenario, such as has been the case with everything offshore of Guyana, for example, then full startup of oil or gas production from any particularly first discovered field 
could thus come within four to five years. And thus, we would likely see Somalia getting added to the global map as an oil producer towards the end of the 2020s or right around 2030, likely coming online after but close enough to the same time as Namibia will be. And of course, now there's also additional complications that may come from the whole potential Ethiopian-Somali conflict slash invasion thing that might happen. Although theoretically, that would be confined to the Somali land region of Somalia, since that's where the port that Ethiopia wants is located, while all the oil and gas exploration and all of the oil and gas itself is located in the rest of Somalia, in the other two-thirds of it. But we can only wait and see how everything goes in that regard. And that's the end of this video this time. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. Links are in the description to all different kinds of Google Docs full of graphs, charts, data compilations, topical essays, all kinds of stuff covering everything from oil and gas to electricity and energy, minerals, mining, demographics. It's all there 24-7. It's free. A link to my Catch channel will be in the top pinned comment as well. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.